really. Best advice I've gotten in the last six months uh, was from an artist named Peter Himmelman, if you know who he is, uh, from probably the, what, late 80s, 90s or something. He said, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter that somebody's, that you get knocked down because everybody gets knocked down. What are you going to do when you get up? And I guess that's why I love the song Glass. Because, you know, when, when you're in there and it doesn't matter if you fall down, just get the F back up. Yeah. Or, 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 I mean, if you even want to look at it even further, I mean, there's no real getting knocked down unless you allow it. Allow it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody comes yeah, in idea, and, yeah. yep. and, you know what I mean? Like, and that's that's the next step after learning to get back. You know what I mean? That's the next step after that is that there is no reason to ever be knocked down by anyone or anything because that's a choice. That's a, and every that's the other thing is that people don't realize is that everything, all perspective is a choice. You know? But so many people bitch about getting knocked over. Yeah, well, that's, beca that's because they're continually attached to the idea that they have some control over not getting knocked over. When you, apt you, when you admit that you don't have control over it. You, your dog dies or your friend dies or your mother. When you're faced with the absolute, you know, yeah. realness of life, which is death, and you, re you, you can really realize that you don't have control over it. So do we... Or, but most people just, you know, most people, that's why 